All right, guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Uh, it's been a long time since I've reviewed an add-on, but this is pretty fresh. I seen it today and I thought, oof, that is nice, that is sexy. It's called the Sculpt Bridge Tool. It is available for free at the moment. I'll leave all the links in the description down below. Make sure you give the video a like and make sure you check out the YouTuber. He gives a good explanation about how to use this tool, but I'll quickly show you how to use this tool. So the first thing we'll do is we'll download it, we'll quickly jump into Blender. Now, you need to add this to the Asset Browser. Once you've added it to the Asset Browser, you'll see that we now have this icon up here. Sometimes it won't load, you might need to reload Blender, you might need to revert the scene, whatever. But you should get it. So, we're in Sculpt mode, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Face Selection and I'm going to draw a couple of faces. Now I apologise for the audio, I've got a brand new computer, nothing is set up, so you're getting me pretty raw to be honest. And I'm going to draw this face, and all we do is we go to the Bridge tool, and check this out. Oh, how good is that? That is so clever. And I think this is probably one of the best tools I've seen for sculpting in a long time. And I think it actually uses geometry nodes in the background. But we can set things like the gravity, we can put up the level of details, uh, we can smooth the borders, smooth the distances, stuff like this. We can flip the normals, it's pretty cool. Uh, and of course we can do it more than once, so we can, again, maybe a tip is to add this to quick favourites so you're not coming up here all the time. I wonder if you can select these faces, then this face, then do it. Yay! Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> Sorry, I'm easily amused. So this is where the smooth distance and the smooth faces comes in because you're getting this kind of clipping error. But another thing that it does very well is it actually punches holes through the mesh. And this is where I think it's actually it's pretty damn cool. So for example, if I select the faces here and then I select the back faces round about here, I can come up here and I can punch a hole. How wicked is that? <laughs> I'm just impressed. <laughs> uh, so this is called the Sculpt Bridge Tool. It is available for free. Again, all the links will be in the description down below. Go and check out the guy's YouTube channel. Give it a subscribe, just as a thank you more than anything. And check out the products from the user as well. There's some really nice tools. Do me a favour, guys. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, you know what to do. Take care.